And we back like bra straps. It is a victory Friday. The Dallas Cowboys have versus the New Orleans Saints. Let's run it for the cardio. We got Jalen Smith and Layden Van Der Esch today. Uh, let's get started, man. Let's get started. Great win, and both our young linebackers had a big part to do with it. Let's just look at this play first of all. We got Jalen here, and we got Van Der Esch here. Let's just uh, let's just take a look at um at uh, what we did, man. I was saying a lot this week that the Saints um, are definitely a horizontal playing team. You know, uh, there's a there's a misconception that they're so vertical, that they're so absolutely downfield passing. They're they're a high powered offense, but they do a lot of horizontal stuff. And part of the battle is being able to get to a landmark quickly. OK, so we got the bubble screen down here. Let me move this out the way. We got the bubble screen down here. Right. Let's take a look at Jalen Smith and how he gets to the bubble screen. Let's just watch him. Let's just take a look at him. Let's just take a look at him. You see, he's uh, he's aware of the of the angles that he's taking. He's making his keys in the backfield. Let's take a look at it. We have a it's a quick play action look, just enough to get your eyes going. Uh, fake to Kamara coming across the front and the bubble screen to Thomas. So, if you're the linebackers, you're thinking about those keys. I'm going to use that word a bunch, keys, right? You're keying the play action first, right? But when you see Drew Brees getting that pass position right there, okay, let me slow down. Okay, ball's out. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to get there quick, fast, and in a hurry. And you can kind of see that progression in how our linebackers stride. They're going to see the key, play action. Drew Brees is going to go up into a throwing motion. They're going to ease that way. When the ball is out, they're going to burst. Watch them. Watch your two linebackers here. Dot, dot, dot. Boom, 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 boom. Boy, and Jalen Smith gets there nasty, boy. Jalen Smith gets there nasty and just cleans it all up. <clears throat> Let's keep watching. Take a look at the young gangster, Leighton Van Der Esch right here, man. Watch this play, bro. This, this made my head hurt. This made me squint my eyes. This made me... Boy, oh, boy. Look at look at, look at Leighton Van Der Esch. Watch it. Look at this. Mm. Look at this. Look at this. I wish I knew what he was saying. But God, look at him. Look at young Layden Van. That is nothing but film prep right there. That's film prep. That's being first. That's keys. Some cats was telling me how, how how's Layden Van Der Esch doing doing with the blocks nowadays. He ain't got to deal with the blocks because he got the keys. He's got anticipation. Got him. He knows what's happening before it gets there, man. Now, granted, we got a pretty good job of the A gap being exposed right here. He's kind of going across the face of the center, but that ain't what we that ain't what we we really worried about. We're worried about because either way, even if this A gap player stays here, right, then the center still blocks this guy, and Vanderish still got to get to the, he still he still has to get to the other side of that guy, right? But man, just being able to see it, right? Let, let's let's slow it down and watch when he first made his move. When he first made the move to go. Breeze ain't even look at Van Der Esch moving already. Look at Van Der Esch already gravitating to that side. Sometimes reading the offensive line is pretty much the first key, then letting it develop. It's kind of like he's reading from front to back, kind of sort of. He's going to read the O line first, okay? Then he's going to read the backfield to see what's going on. You see, the O line is going in that direction. He's going to go that way. He sees it formulating in the backfield. Uh, just based off knowing your opponent, we know Drew Brees ain't going to pull it and run if he does he'll get hit by one of these guys man look vandy's reading the blocks handoff is there all you got to do is get to the correct gap now and make the tackle sheesh something that the saints are always um are always doing like i said they're a very horizontal offense they can get the ball sideways but they got athletes to where they can get yak on the back end alvin kamara is definitely one of those guys whether it be like a swing um screen anything like that so if you look at kamara he's kind of swinging out of the backfield right now right he's the motion guy but man our linebacker is gonna get to the sideline so quickly and whoever this is that's byron jones right there byron kind of missing the tackle man look if our linebackers didn't get that like if, if if they didn't get there byron would be dead as fried chicken there and that's a touchdown and you know we're frustrated right but no we're going to get the ball to young Alvin and Jalen and Vandy. They're just going to fight their way across the field, man. Look at how far you got to travel if you young Jalen Smith and Vanderish here and here. Look at how far you got to travel to get to the outside just to get, man. 
partially what I think a big another big key was in this game is that we were able to contain things in the middle so that we could be able to get sideline to sideline. You know what I mean? Um, if they were able to just run the ball up the gut, they would do so. But we did so well on the inside that they weren't able to. Man, so huh, Drew Brees scanning, scanning. He gets the ball to the swing. Normal, normal, normal um, reads, normal progressions by Drew Brees, but he gets the ball out to Alvin Kamara and Jalen Smith just gets there first. Let's look at another play from Jalen. I remember this one dude in my comment section was like, well, Vach, linebackers ain't supposed to engage with offensive linemen. They're supposed to dig their shoulders into people. Watch Jalen Smith. The gangster that he is. Look at young Jalen Smith. I want y'all to see the initial shock at the point of attack when young Jalen puts his hands on young Ryan Ramchick. We're going to see a pop, a strong punch from the hands, disengage, and go make the tackle. Like a D lineman almost. Look at young Jalen Smith, bro. Just look at him. Pop! Boy, did you see Ryan Ramchick's neck go backwards, whiplash, car accident. Did you see young Jalen Smith? Hold young Ryan Ram check in place, disengage, then go makes it. Let's look at the cartel view of young Jalen Smith hitting young Ryan Ram check in the mouth and disengaging with him. Look at him. Fuck, boy. Let's slow motion this. Let's slow motion the best we can. Ryan couldn't even get his hands on him. Look at look at Ryan Ramchek's hands right now. They're on the outside of Jalen Smith. That that's the inside hand fight right there. If Jalen can get his hands inside of you and you're Ryan Ramchek and you're just getting your arms to the outside of him, you have no control there. Uh, Ryan is bending at the hips pretty well, bending at the knees pretty well. That's cool, but Jalen still kind of has the leverage advantage. He delivered the blow. He got the hands to the inside, and Ryan couldn't move anymore. Jalen gets his eyes back up like so. He finds the ball carrier boy please man you can't help but to get hyped about these young linebackers on our squad bro. youtube illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly i tell them that subscribing to my patreon just one dollar a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads basically that means more content for you for less than a bag of almond m ms you can support the channel call dibs on requests for future videos and you can have access to patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions that's patreon.com slash vach lombardi i appreciate the support doski woski salute so we got a slow screen right here right and i'm not van der Esch, i'm not sean lee not the not the linebackers coach i don't really know what the key is but man, something told young Van Der Esch to just cheat to that side a little bit. Some let's look at the cartel view to to get the actual. Okay, cool. Something told young Van Der Esch just to cheat to that side a little bit. Let me run the play first before I get going. This is a slow screen to Alvin Kamara, and man, Van is just gonna get out there before before any blocker even gets there. You know what I mean? Because he read it. You know what I mean? So he's reading the backfield. He's trying to figure out what's going on, right? And he sees Kamara kind of escape a little bit. And Vandy's just going to go that way with him. And man, like the blockers are there, but Vandy's in front of him. <laughs> Vandy's in front of him. After that, it's just an open field tackle. That's what Van Der Esch is great at. Let's look at the wide side, for, uh, uh, the wide side now. Vandy, here we go. He's going to make his read, get out in the open, fop, chase Kamara. Doesn't have to worry about a blocker because he's first. Boy, oh boy, man. You know, we we love Sean Lee because of his cerebral intellect, you know, him being first, him getting to his landmarks. But, man, what if you can see it first, read it, get to your landmark, but, like, still, like, be fast, you know? I think that's what we getting with young Leighton Vanderish now. He's got a lot more linebacker to learn, sure. But man, with Sean Lee teaching him, bro, it's, it's so many, it's so many small little keys to learn. Now, if I'm playing against the Saints, all right, cool. If I'm playing against the Saints and I know what Alvin Kamara likes to do, Kamara goes in motion. That's probably what Jalen's pointing at. <laughs> He's gonna go in motion. We're gonna shift. There's a possibility. There's a possibility that there's a jet sweep coming this way. There's a possibility that there could be a fake on the backside and we just hand the ball to Ingram. Anything can happen, right? But if you're Vanderish, you want to put yourself in prime position to be able to deal with anything. So with this jet sweep coming, of course, Vanderish is going to cheat to the outside a little bit because if Ingram gets the ball, it just crash back inside. But 
if Kamara gets the ball, you don't want to get stuck too far inside. Just happens Kamara gets the football, and man, Van Der Esch gets the burst immediately on the back end. The quick read, fop, 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 fop. He gets there. Mm. Jalen Smith is going to clean up on the back end, laying a little bit of wood there. Hey, man, I'm not going to show the other Jalen Smith play of him hitting Kamara in the helmet or whatever. Who cares? In my opinion, it didn't happen. But there has to some has to be say some has has to be said about how physical Jalen is, uh, or how nasty Jalen can get, and that's going to set the tone for a lot of things on on defense. Yeah, Jalen probably could have just wrapped up with with uh, with Van Der Esch and, and you know took him down. But I like the strike here by young uh, by young Jalen Smith. Looks like it was with the shoulder there. As long as it's clean, I don't mind a little nasty on the back end. And look at Jalen navigating these blocks, man. Here he goes right here. Let's run the play first, then we'll look at it. Yeah, I mean, we saw earlier Jalen does have the ability to line up, strike, extend, and get guys up off of him, man. But, hey, he ain't got to do that. Jalen could just navigate and shimmy through. Woo, whoop, shimmy through those guys, right? Look at him. Woo, woo. I, I'm making up sound effect, man. Woo, whoop. Through these guys, man, they're making the damn tackle, bro. Let's look at the cartel view, bro. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. If you're going to run the ball, you got to be able to block the mic at some point. That's going to be Jalen. And 60 ain't going to do it. Pop, take the angle on you. You're out of place here. And I'm going to, you know, cut the thing back a little bit so I'm, so I'm not running into 67. Me and Mark Ingram are going to play the Oklahoma drill. And well, Jalen got this one. <laughs> Jalen got this one. Bruh, bruh. I am so excited about my young linebackers. I'm blown away. Nothing, nothing, nothing more I can say about it, man. Nothing more I can say about it. They're they're doing a great job in the absence of Sean Lee, and we always talked about it, man, because you know last year when Sean Lee went down, we were just basically SOL. But what happens if Sean Lee goes down this year? Um, and kudos to the front office. You know, people like to give the front office crap, but um, this was a good move here to go get young Leighton Van Der Esch in the in the first round. Let him be groomed by 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 Sean Lee. Let Sean Lee give all those teachings to him. Then in the event that Sean Lee lays down and goes ouch, in which he's done twice this year, young Leighton Van Der Esch, all he has to do is rely on his athleticism because he's been taught the nuance already. He's he's being taught um, different. Keys to look for different, uh, different. He's learning how to watch film. Like I don't think there's another linebacker. I mean, it's a couple of couple other guys, but I have faith that Sean Lee is one of the best film watching linebackers, and and the linebacker position starts with that. Um, and for him to teach Leighton Van Der Esch all these lessons early off the rip, man, you can't beat that with a stick, famo. But anyway, <clears throat> um, so this is going to be like a super cowboy film week. We got a lot of days off. We had a Thursday night game. Um, and we're not going to play again until next Sunday. So we got 10 off days. So you can expect a lot of film from me. I'm going to be pretty busy. Um, the next film session um, is looking like our DBs. Uh, so we're going to take a look at Jordan Lewis and the rest of the guys. So stay tuned for that. Uh, with that being said, uh, like the video. The more likes I get early, the better it does in the recommended section and the things you may like, you know, sections and all that. Please like the video. Um, comment. Tell me which video you want to see next. I'm taking all suggestions um, and kind of put them in order, like second, third, fourth, fifth. Like, just let me know what y'all want to see all together. We got a long week. We got a lot of stuff to break down and see. Um, Vach's Voice Podcast. Follow all, all of my Facebook groups. Those links are around. They're in the description somewhere. Um, go get a shirt, uh, spreadshirt.shoplombardi.com, um, man. Go go check all that out. The link is in the description. I'll drop it somewhere else. There's a video at the, at the, at the front part of this video go check all that out man i appreciate all the support big win man big win it's friday doski woski till next time which is tomorrow <laughs> salute